見えますかこの私のスクリーンを。はい、見えます。はい、よかった。じゃあ、ミュートゥーの逆襲、エボリューション。Uh, we, we basically know what this is: ミュートゥーズ、逆襲、which was like counter attack or something. And the first thing is the prologue. この星には不思議な不思議な生き物がいる。Uh, it's, it's my line. So that's on this planet, really weird things exist, you know? 不思議な不思議な。Uh, じゃあ、次のラインですね。ジャック、お願いします。はい。Uh, さらに海に。Modi ni、uh, machi. So in the skies, in the seas, in the forest, and in the cities. Hi. So, Sekai Ju no itaru tokoro ni, so no sugate o miru koto ga dekiru. So, throughout the whole world, we can, or these forms, existences, can、uh, be seen. Uh, so, no sugata is sugata directly means like shapes and stuff,、oh, but、okay. they're saying like things like that, like they're just kind of not so, so those ikimono, they're using、yeah. sugata, sugata to describe the ikimono. Got it. Hi, hi. So, no nawa pocket monster, chijimete Pokemon. So, the name, so no na is like that name of, you know, those ikimono. Is Pokemon Monsters and to shorten it, Pokemon. Uh, sorry, could you just like put it full screen or zoom a bit? Oh, this thingy, like, yeah, this, like, uh, should I put in? Hi, hi, arigato. Uh, second, you are Gazu Kagiri Nai Pokemon Ga Su. Uh, 存在しその正確な数を知る者はいない。はい。So, second は、it's in this world、はい。Uh, 数限りないポケモン。カウントスポケモン数 is counting, basically. So, 数限りない is saying you can't count it. Okay, so, so Pokemon s that you can count. There's just so many Pokemon that you just can't count it. So it kind of all goes together saying that these, you totally can't count these Pokemon s exist, so people don't know an accurate number. Like someone, so Shirumono is a human being, this, this is what that Mono is. So, a human being that knows the accurate number doesn't exist. There is not. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, it's like among all these marvelous or called marvelous things, like. Naka niwa is a little bit、um, different from the Maboroshi to yobare.、Oh, okay. So the Naka niwa is all those Kazukaragiri nai Pokemon. So within all、yeah. the Pokemon, there's so many we can't count. There's Pokemon that's Maboroshi to yobare. So you can、okay. call some of those Pokemon Maboroshi.、Oh, got it. What's the meta? That's rarely. So rarely. Means there's Pokemon that.、Um, yeah. Or rarely show themselves in front of people. That's the,、okay. what, so, what it means to show. What would be a good translation for Mapodoshi? Because, like, the it's, it's standard. Phantom, I, I just kind of like,、yeah. it's like mysterious, but it, it just, I guess, kind of depends on like mysterious or whatever. It really is Phantom for whatever reason, but. You know, I mean, I do remember in the games they're like legendary or rare.、Uh, I think I, mean, I was kind of surprised by seeing my brother's sheet. Hi, hi, what does he m o n I was like, h e y Phantom, you a Phantom Pokemon? I think it's just you know, similar to how like some things just don't translate well to certain things. 
So I think by phantom, they mean like you don't really like see it. I think it kind of has that rare like meaning inside of it. So not just mysterious, but like you, it kind of like you don't like it hides, you know, I think it mm -hmm. might have that meaning, but I don't know for sure. Uh, Masarata no Satoshi wa uh, Pokemon ga daisuki na shounen da. So, you know, uh, Masada Town is the town that Satoshi lives in. So, Masada Town no Satoshi. Satoshi wa Pokemon ga daisuki na shounen, which is um, the boy who loves Pokemon. So, he is a, so Satoshi is a guy that really loves Pokemon. Uh, pocket, mm, Pokemon Master O Mezaste Aipono Pikachu Ya Nakamato Tomoni Shugyo no Tabio Tsukete Ido. So basically, uh, he aims to be a pocket, uh, Pokemon Master. Um, and together with Pikachu uh, and his friends, hi, hi. his buddies and friends, mm -hmm. um, they will now continue the journey. Yeah. Uh, Shugyo no Tabi, they're just saying like the, the journey is kind of like training for becoming a Pokemon master. So they're not mm -hmm. just aimlessly traveling for no reason. Yeah. It's so, not just a journey, it's the, the journey. Uh, checking up page. Uh, I decided to keep the moguji, which is the context, because that's some quick, easy translation. So we got Daiichi Sho. Yeah. No, the Saikyo no Pokemon Tanjo? Tanjo. Hi. Tanjo as in old Tanjo. Oh, the birth of the strongest Pokemon. Hi, hi. So this ne. Uh, Pokemon Joe no Shotai. So Pokemon Castle E means to go to, and No is connecting uh, this as if it was a noun, even though there's an extra particle. So there's two particles here, and Shotai's invitation. So the invitation for going to the Pokemon Castle. Dai San Sho, Saikyo no Pokemon. To Lena. Hi. Jesus, I hate Katakana. Um, the strongest Pokemon trade. Hi, hi. No Pokemon no copy. Copies of the Pokemon. Hon mono to copy. The real and the fake. Well, the real and the copies. Um, Adata na. Ho? Oh. Ho ken no? Hi. Um, Ajimari. Hi. Um, I don't know what ho ken is. Uh, bo ken is adventure. Hmm. So, Hi. the start of a new adventure. Hi. Uh, so, something else I just thought to mention, because I always, I like that's interesting about Japanese, is how they do numbers with things. So dai basically is just what they do when they're going to be having a sequence of numbers for something. So it doesn't like have meaning in itself except saying this number one is not the only number one in this book. There's going to be a chapter two as well. Kind of has that meaning. You know, I just think that's interesting. And show is just for uh, novels. Uh, if you're doing like a manga, it's wa, <laughs> the character for mm -hmm. Hanatsu, the talk. Mm -hmm. Wonder why. I mean, Japanese have a counter for everything, so. Mm. I mean, chances <laughs> are you'll never know them all. Hi, hi. So, Kigi ga so I think that's a small too. Okay, I wasn't really sure about that. Uso to. Uso. Is that Uso Uto or is that Uso to? It's Uso to. Okay, Uso to. And Oi. Shigeru uh, jungle no nakao to yoning no otoko tachi ga ichi let's yeah okay 
知らずになって歩いていた。歩いて。うん。So, but then the jungle with a lot of trees. Hi, hi, hi. That's exactly what that says. This is in Russian. Kigi is just a lot of trees.、Yeah. And so is saying they're very densely. Oishigudu、so, means the overgrown. And so、uh, is、um, modifying the oishigudu. That's、okay. why I was there. Because to is a lot of times used with、um, automatic pia like words、mm. and stuff to modify verbs. So it's saying these densely grown, overgrown trees all over the place in this jungle. Yeah. yeah so there's four guys, I guess.、Right. And they're, and they're just walking in. What's the Ichiretsu like m o d i f i e d That's in a line. They're in a line?、Oh, okay. saying they're、um, not like walking in like a gaggle, you know?、Uh, I got it, got it. Okay.、Uh, Pokemon ga sunderu kono jungle dewa. A chikochi de Pokemon o nikakeru koto ga deki. Ima mo otoko tachi no zuzo de. マンキの群れがキーギーの間を飛び移っていく。Uh, ポケモンが住んでいることのジャングルでは、is the jungle where Pokemon live in。あちこちで、which is all over the place、ポケモンを見かけることができ。So you have the ability to see Pokemon, like just catch sights of them all over、uh,。例えば、even now、Uh, those men that were in the line over, overhead, those men overhead, like up in the trees in the jungle,、uh, a flock of m a n k e y are, you know, in the trees uh, jumping uh, from tree to tree. So, Aida is just like among, but Tobi、uh, u t e k u means to jump from one thing to another. So they're jumping from the diff among the trees from one tree to another.、Uh, so the phantom, mythical, etc. Pokemon Mew. So this is it. So, Hakutsu Tain, no Ushiro, O Aruitata. と博士と博士が素早くと,とさらに後ろの、えっと、研究員が口を開いた。Okay. Is it researcher for that big? Like, uh, Hakutsu Tain is,、um, Hakutsu is the excavation area and、uh, Tain means team member. So they're referring to all Yonin. Okay. And so he's walking behind the professor who's the, the, the professor.、Uh, the, he's walking behind the professor is behind everybody. Oh, all his team members. So I guess there's Sanin, Sanin wa maide, Ushiro wa Hakase dake. So three of them are walking in front, and the Hakase is in the background. That's kind of funny because, like, Uh, and, and like you'd imagine the Hakase would be in the front, you know, but instead he's like just following people.、Uh, I mean, if something happens, he's safe back there. Anzen, that's the Anzen Pokoro desne. Shiro. Tsubuyaku to should be to mutter. So the professor in the background is kind of muttering, going. Rrr, 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 rrr. And Sarani is even further. Ushiro no Kenkyuin ga kuchi o hiraita. So it's kind of like、um, funny to like describe it that way. So I guess he's in the middle of the group because he's, he's behind his team members, the Hakase is, and he's muttering. And someone even behind him, another team member,、uh, Kenkyuin, so another researcher member. Opens up his mouth to start talking. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my, my turn, isn't it? 
滅滅したと言われていますが、ニューを見たという話は最近になっても報告されています。Uh, 絶滅した means、um, destruction, you w a n t it day masaga. So, so we've heard about destruction. Mu o mita to you hanashiwa, stories where、uh, Mu has been seen, or like I guess mentioned with seeing Mu within these stories. Saikin ni na te mo ho kok sare te mas. So lately, there's been these stories that have been、um, reported about. Seeing Mew and there may have, may have included、um, about destruction, Zetsumitsu.、Uh, so, yeah. I think somebody wants to join. Oh, hi. I, 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 I can't see that. Hi, hi. Sorry, I'm sorry. You can just listen in.、Mm. Uh, I think it's Jack's turn. Kakunin. Hi, hi. Uh, 確認はされていない。はい、so, you can confirm that or it cannot be confirmed. It has not been confirmed yet.、Uh, so, mm, de, because、uh, of the T9. Hi, T9. Ken Kyuin got hi to Unazaku. So, the,、uh, the researcher nodded in agreement. Hi. And the Ian is saying that it's not just this. Well, actually, it doesn't specify. Yeah, that's one researcher. Never mind. I was wrong. Matomona shashin ichimai torarete nai is not even a single photograph. Ichimai is a one photograph. Torarete、uh, nai is、um, to have been taken. Torareru、uh, is the to take, and it's also used for taking photographs. もう一人の研究員が残念ながらとうつむく。うつむく。うつむく。Sorry. So, another researcher said、uh, it's a shame or while it's a shame. Uh, uh, I don't know what it is. To nod your head, like height. Okay, so Wait, I mean, sorry. it's set at 12. Just hang your head. So he's saying zanin nagara, and he's just kind of like、uh, looking at the <laughs> yeah, I can definitely imagine that expression from hi, the Pokemon TV games. Like just hanging the head and hi, hi. maybe shaking it a little. Aruki nagara, Hanashte, Hakase, Tachio. えっと、興味深そうに見ているポケモンがいた。So、it's like the walking while talking professor and his、uh, gaggle.、はい uh, I don't understand this part. It's like something of great interest. And,、はい like, so, 興味深いそう、uh, is saying that、um, uh, me, uh, I'll start with the 見ている。So, the poke, this is right here is defining this Pokemon. So, this is what this Pokemon is doing or thinking. So, this Pokemon is looking. At the professors, that's why there's an O at the end of this thing. So the Pokemon's looking at those professors that are talking, and、uh, Kyomi Bukai So means he looks as if he's very interested in what they're doing. We don't actually know for sure if Mew is interested because we're not Mew, it's not told from Mew's point of view, but yeah,、okay. so that's why we, they use so that's a Japanese y、yeah. thing. So there exists the Pokemon that is just. Watching those gaggle of professors, and they're like, huh, Moshiroi. So, they were pink iru no tisana Pokemon that that. So, that Kyomi, Kyomi Bukai so ni mitteri Pokemon wa pink iru no tisana. So, it's very short and is pink Pokemon. Uh, Chu ni uki nagara oki na ana no ai aita hapai hapa kara katera o nozoite iru. So Chu is a 
Tsuni Ukinagara is while floating in the air. Oh, okay. Isn't Chu the same for Tobi? Oh, uh, what? Uh, the kanji. Like the connotation, it can be jump as well. I mean, over here it's Chu, but. Uh, it's possible, I think. I, eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> so, while floating in the air, um, in the big holes between the leaves or in the leaves with big holes? Uh, the, the leaves have um, big holes. They have these holes open up. And then, um, so from the and in the middle is over there watching or peeking at the, hi, hi. At the group. Hi. He's hiding, isn't he? <laughs> So like to like the group, the professor and his group that are passing by, Hi. that Pokemon like kind of chased after them Hi. by flying. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, okay. Hi, that's 100% correct. Hakase tachi wa mizugi wa o aruita. So they're, you know, walking along the water's edge. So Tabun, uh, we thought it was like a lake, riverbank, I think is what we thought. Since they're in the middle of a jungle, Tabun, not the beach, this ne. Uh, Fudoi Senki Soga Achikochi ni Shizunde Iru Kawa de Dewa. Bata furi tachi ga. This is uh, suimen. It, the the furi gana was chiao suimen. Oh, so suimen no ue o tanoshiso ni mat matte ita. So all ruins, I think. Yeah, zo uh, specifically means statues. So like. Statues ruins. Okay. So all over the place, so over here and there, hi, hi. there were these statues that were all. Uh yeah. Uh and they're sindeiru. So they're kind of like sinking into that kala that the professors are walking by. Yeah, so they're kind of like off submerged or so. Or maybe falling apart. So this makes uh, then a group of butterflies, Hi. like a swarm. I don't know if that's the word for uh, group of butterflies, but. So this ne, shoto watashi mo shiranai. Ah, imi ga wakaru desu ne. Uh, what? Imi ga wakaru. Hi. So this ne. That's all. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, so, uh, so men is kind of like surface or screen, like ga men is like my computer screen, so sui men is like the surface of the water. So, okay, the so water. they were basically above the surface of the world of the water, hi. and they were like uh, they looked happy, yeah. Hi, hi. Uh, ni ma. So that's the same kanji Mata? as Goru. So it's kind of like a fluttery dance. So they're kind of like going, woo! <laughs> like doing butterfly things. Yeah, butterfly thingies. Because a lot of times if you look at a butterfly, people are like, yo, they dance like a butterfly or something. So they kind of say it's like they're fluttering around as if they were dancing, kind of, just kind of being artistic. OK. So like kind of in that group, Hi. the pink Pokemon kind of disappeared into it or? Uh, basically, the pink Pokemon's, you know, flying just like the butterfly. Yes. And it's kind of hiding within the, the flock of butterfly, mm -hmm. so you can't like see him. Even though uh, butterfree is purple normally, but 
the pink Edo is kind of like mixed among them flying after the professor's watching them still, kind okay. of. So yeah, it flew into the flock and is hiding among them, basically. Yagate, hiraketa basho ni derito, soku ni wa kuchihateta iseki ga atta. So yagate is like before long or something like that. Hiraketa basho ni derito. So they're in the jungle no naka de desu ne. Eto, the jungle is very like, you know, so many trees so close to you. So uh, hira, hiraketa basho is like a place in the jungle that's like a clearing. It opens up so you're not, you know, uh, crushed by all those trees around you. You're now in like a plane kind of. So they um, entered basically uh, into a place without those um, trees everywhere. And in that place, soku ni wa kuchihatte ita Iseki. So Iseki is um, ruins from the, the, that those guys are looking at. So there's lots of ruins here and they're kuchihateta, which is like, they're like crumbling. They're pretty decrepit ruins. Uh, is that this? the top? Agaseta chi. Yeah. Uh, so the professor and this group right. um, I think it's a, a decrepit hi, hi. decrepit gate or uh, kugori, I don't know. It's basically to enter, but it's specifically saying there's something above you. So it's like the go under, I guess. Oh, okay. So like going crouching or winning your head. Kugori uh, no, is probably like a set phrase, I think. And after that, nakahe haiteita. Basically, they entered the inside. Hai. So this, ne? Okay. Um, so like here and there, like the ceiling is that, right. or is that no? That's tenjo. Tenjo is ceiling. Okay. So from the ceiling that is decaying. Oh, and the cracks. Uh, there's like sunlight peeking I through, hide. kind of. Uh, the shadows continue to lengthen, or I don't. Yeah, so. that that's basically what this is saying. They're okay. saying that the shadows are falling from those all the people presents that are as uh, they're walking into the thingy. So I guess the shadows would be lengthening, lengthening as they're entering there. I'd assume that would be a correct way to translate it. Okay. Iseki no oku ni wa tsuta ga karamatta sekiban ga atta. So within that historical ruin, ruin that they just entered, um, there's some kind of ivy is entwined around the sekiban. Uh, sekiban directly means lithograph, so I just call it a slate. I don't know if that's the same thing, but like visually it looks like the same to me, so... Uh, I just say <laughs> it, 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 they're twining on the slate thingy, the lithograph. Yeah. So, kika kaku yoga hodo 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 ko sareta se sekiban no chu ni wa pokemon. Pokemon no sugata ga horare teita. So. Able to guess if you don't know the vocab words in this one? Yeah, it's like the shape of a, a Pokemon was in the, the lithograph. Hi, hi. Even though that 
big first word it's like so kigagaku just means like a geometric and moyo means pattern so it's saying that there's like these weird geometric patterns are um okay. carved on the sekiban and in the middle chuo niwa there's the shape of a pokemon okay so jungle no naka de pakase tachi o mitte ita to pokemon oh no sorry pink iro no pokemon da so like the pink colored pokemon is watching the group in the, the jungle Hi, from the jungle. So the pink Pokemon hasn't like entered into uh, the, the ruins. They're basically watching from outside the gate. Uh, They're kind of like slightly specifying that in a way by saying from the jungle. Uh, Mew dis. It's Mew, kind of. It just says Mew. Sono pink iro no Pokemon. The, the Pokemon's carved in the um, Sekiban is Mew. Yeah. I mean, if it were any doubt that it was me. Um, Hokutsu Taihin ga Sekiban o Sasuto Hakase wa Kantan no Yojo o Ukabeta. So uh, this kantan, I just like want to mention because whenever I hear kantan, I think easy, but this specific kantan, yeah. with this kanji, uh, means excitement basically. Like wa uh, kantan fu is an explanational mark, which I thought was kind of cool. So if there's like a fu at the end, it means exclamation mark, and gimon fu, as in gimon like shitsumon, is question mark. I don't know if that helps people remember. Huh. Yeah, because kantan, it's like easy in my mind, so. I know, it's like, eh, nani, kantan no Way more common. I just need to look at the kanji and be like, ah, it, it's a little chica. Uh, kantan isn't right. like a kimochi, maybe. It's not a feeling. Just Okay. Um, yeah, it was, okay. Huh? Uh, it's the expedition members. Right. Uh, so when they touch the plate. Sasu means the point. So they could be. Okay. Touching, but it's specifically saying they're like, look at this thingy. And they're indicating it in some way. Yeah. But touching is definitely I mean, possible. I recognize it as the kanji for finger or. Ah, so, so I thought it was like point. Hi hi, and it is uh, a point, not not point, <laughs> but it was like touch or something. But hi, hi. yeah, they they can be touching it, but it's not. They're not necessarily touching it. They're just indicating it in some way, most likely pointing. But they could touch it. Uh, Sasu is also using other things for indicating, so they could be using their whole hand as well, if in case it's rude to point <laughs> with your finger. <laughs> Okay. Hakase uh, wa so the professor with excitement yojo. Uh, yojo is like uh, yojo ukabeta is kind of like an expression. So you know that uh, this kanji with like uh, some other words I, I can do on top of my head means to float like chu chu ni ukabu something like that means to float. So they're kind of saying uh, hyojo is like your facial expression. So whenever they're talking about someone's like facial expression mm. changing, they use it's like to show the face. Yeah, hi. So kantan no hyojo is like a very excited face. He's like, ooh, waka waka shite. So, yojo is? Uh, fa facial expression. OK. Hi, hi. And ukabu means it's like changing. It's it's saying that um uh what kind of it's saying that his facial expression like so the so his his facial expression has changed basically to be kantan to be very excited is kind of what 
this is saying. So like. I mean, kind of strange that the facial expression doesn't include the kanji for face. So this, uh, the, it, the kanji instead is um, part of to appear, like auto audit, auto audit. So it's, it's I, I don't, that's the hyo. Can also mean like chart and a whole bunch of like showing you something kind of is what the hyo is. I'm not sure what the jo is, but that's what the hyo kind of means. Ja. Okay. So like the power, the mysterious power that this holds. Hi, hi. Yeah. So like floods has happened. Yeah. Stuff like a flood has happened. And so koshita kind of means to cause. So they're blaming you. Oh. Okay. And Yuki did. Mew did it. Oh, okay. They did. And then, like the, like the wilderness, I guess. Yeah, like, I think means crops. the wasteland. Okay. So, so you got crops right, and yeah. this means to ripen. So even yeah. though, so a wasteland, you're like crops in a wasteland. So do a hendes ne. Arechi de wa um in a wasteland tabun uh it'd be very hard to you know have sakumono sakumotsu. So do a tahendes ne. So it would um, cause crops to ripen in, in wastelands. And this connects with the next part. Yeah, so the people have distributed, like various people have distributed so the crops. The, the ni or? is actually toward. So toward. the okay. subject of this is dare. Dare. Oh. Eto, dare to moimasu ka? Kono dai kousui o hiki okoshita hito wa dare desu ka? So this is all about the same person, uh, Mew. So Mew. The Daiko Suyo Hiki Koshita person is also Mew. And Arechini uh, Sakumoto Ninoraseta Hitoa Mew. So Shite Hitoni Wakeatairu Hitoa. Mew this. So Mew is causing big floods, uh, but is also giving food to people, distributing fruits. So Ryu de Tenchika Akumaka. So is it an angel or a demon? Because uh, not it not only it's being like an angel with you know distributing fruit fruit and stuff on with, with people who live in wastelands but it's also a demon because it's causing like great floods and who knows what other disasters it's creating those wastelands so after that it's uh, so it's kind of like a question a rhetorical question like all in the wind uh, right so kimag Gure is kind is a specific word. Ki can mean wind. It also means like kuki or like air. But kimakure is a um, whim in this specific case. So is it an angel? Is it a demon? Or is it just based off of its whim? There's it's not an angel or a demon. It's just I feel like killing you all with a big flood another day. Oh, you guys are hungry. Um, here's some fruit. There's it's not an angel or a demon. It's just doing whatever the heck it wants when it feels like it wants to. It doesn't care. I mean, Mew certainly feels like a, a good Pokemon, so... Hi, hi. Atoshi mo so mo. Mew wa iko! The... Kenkyu in tachi ga ato ni tsutsuku to to hakase wa emi yo ukabeta. So, like, after the group has continue there like a smile appeared on the professor's face hi see that's that ukabu ukabeta that we saw earlier with the hyo, hyojin hyo, uh, hyojo ukabe so ukabu is the same it's specifically saying something's happening to his face it's kind of nice that's on the same page so you can see that ah hi so he's basically like um they're talking about the uh 
So the, the, um, they're saying they're continuing the conversation. So they're talking about Mew. So they're like, oh, this is a picture of Mew. Mew does all this stuff. And um, after someone says Kima Kureta, after that, uh, it, he continues. So I think this is the same uh, per researcher who says Kima Kure na Dakeka or something like that. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But yeah, he, they're just continuing the conversation. They're saying the conversation didn't like suddenly end when he started smiling, I guess, you know? Okay. Uh, so anyhow, uh, is very strong power. So there's no mistaking that it has the ability to hide its immense power since um, no one's as ever, you know, even take, there's not I mean, a single picture of this Pokemon, even though supposedly it can produce fruits and wastelands and cause such huge floods. It must be really good at hiding. There's no mistake about that. So at that time, uh, the sunlit lithograph, so the the slate that was getting hit by the sunbeams, um, in that plate, something's shadow just flitted uh, across. Hi. So that's that zato. Yuto is being used with a like onomatic period like word to uh, describe the yokogita, which is to cross. So it's basically saying like za, za. You know, <laughs> it just flashes across the nanika no kage. Dare no kage to omimasu ka? Whose shadow is this? Tabun new desho. Hi. It's like, I don't know who the subject is, but like basically they turned around and looked behind them, but there was nothing there. Right. Uh, ichido means all present. So oh. um, all present in front of the, the, oh. the lithograph. Is what it is. But yeah, hi. Hakase tachi wa iseki o dete. Uh, uh, so they um, left the iseki, which is the um, the historical ruins they were inside, and very close to those ruins, there was a tent set up that they entered. Uh. So the research members member um the glass case on the top of the table. Uh, okay, uh, open the lid on the glass case that was on the top of the table. Hi. The, the researchers opened up the lid of the glass case that was on the, the table, the tsuke desk, I guess. Oh, sorry. So this is the fossil that we discovered this time around. Right. Uh, Here's that oyayubi, that 
sasu no kanji that you notice. I never mm -hmm. noticed that. So, wow, sugoi. So, within that grasu keisu no naka ni wa, there's something about the size of um, a thumb. Uh, the, a thumb is actually, I think, a little bit bigger since they use hodo. Maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, there, there's, a, there's a little fossil inside the glass case that is around the size of a yubi, yubi no, oya yubi no saki. Maybe that's a saki hodo no chisa. Yeah, I think it's like a little bit smaller than the yuba. I'm, I'm not sure. Sorry. <laughs> Ma, tsugi no hito desu ne. Um, you know, Kadada no Ichibu. So, something about his body, Ichibu. I right. don't know. So, Ichibu is like one part. So, he's just saying that the fossil is a small piece of Mew. So it's not like a fossilized okay. version of Mew. Like they didn't get all of Mew. They just got a Ichibu from Mew's body. They're just saying it's a small part, one part. So they're insinuating that there's other parts of Mew that theoretically would exist. Mew's not like, it's not a complete fossil, you know? Like, uh, it's like, right. if you had this, it's just like a hair, I think, in the anime. <laughs> Context-wise, is there more than one Mew or literally just one? Uh, this, this Ichibu means one part of Mew's body. So uh, yeah, but there's no so, there's no context whether or not only one Mew exists. Theoretically, there could be more. Like yeah, I mean, I don't mean in this case, but like from general knowledge uh, about right. Pokemon. Mm. Like, is there any other reference to Mew? There, there. That you know of? So that's kind of hard because like Pokemon does not really like its continuity. Theoretically, we've seen at least two different Mews in Pokemon. There's the Mew from this uh, movie, and there's also a Mew in the Lucario movie that exists that's just kind of hanging around in that area, which is a different Mew. It's like a very different Mew than the one from uh, this movie. So theoretically, there's at least two Mews that we've seen in the Pokemon anime. Probably there's there's a, like a I feel like a, another new Mew in um, like the comics that's like a little bit different, but like who who knows you know Pokemon and continuity is not very good. It's like uh, theoretically there should only be one um, Lugia, but there's at least three Lugia because there's the one in the movie. And then there's the two in the anime with one of them being the baby, like legendary Pokemon don't give birth. So I mean, if there's a baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so the, the continuity is not Pokemon's um, strong suit. So I don't, I don't think we could really say anything. Okay. Okay. So where's Aya Hakase to you to to Hakutsu Taiin wa? So like the professor said, but like the group kind of added on. That's so not really the Mew no Karada no Ichibu was said yeah. by the professor. Yeah. Right after he said that, that's what that to is. That's like okay. a to. Okay. And then the it's like when I it's an if, but it's a, a very strong if, like the thing it's going to happen. So. Mm. It's not if it's going to happen, it's when it happens. Yeah, so when he said that, this person replies with, there were nine kato. So. Uh, so he's saying that's not it though, or I didn't understand. So we don't know for sure whether or not this uh, okay. is new body part. They're like, we found a fossil. We're in a big historical ruin that worships Mew. I bet it's Mew. But this guy's like, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what fossil this is? And e soedu means you add it to what was said before. Okay. So he's kind of like um, adding to the sentence. 
So, Mew no kara no ichibu dewa nai kato. It's kind of like one complete sentence in a way, said by two different people splitting up, be. kind of what it's insinuating. So, this is Mew's body, or perhaps it isn't. Oh, okay. Kare ga Mew no karada no ichibu. Kaseki o mai ni shita hakase no mune ga zoku zoku to odotta. Um, so this is a small part of Mew's body. Uh, the professor standing in front of the fossil's uh, chest starts to thump in a zoku zoku kind of way. Uh, Odota kind of means a dance, but this is his, his, his um, chest is going zoku zoku zoku, this near thumping this. Naganinsaga So uh, the long years I've been searching. All right. Um Yoyaku. Finally. So, oh, okay, so it's finally uh, I found it. Hi, hi. Okay. So, Korega Areba, Korega Areba, the Naganen Itaki Tizuke, Tizuke Tekita, Yemega Kanao Kamashirenai. So it's like, if this is that thing, then the okay. wish that has been held for many years can be granted, probably. Uh, kore, kore ga areba is like, if I have this, oh. is what it specifically says, if I have this. Uh, so he, the, the professor 100% believes that this is a used fossil, but his um, team members are like, huh, we don't know, dude. <laughs> they, they don't fully believe it. Chinjitsu nai desu ne. Hakase is like, yes, yes, kore ga areba. The, 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 my dream that I've been holding on for all these years will finally come true. He, he's very kantan. No hyojo ga aru desu ne. Sasoku ken kyujo ni mochikairo. So, let's, sasoku is like, quickly, let's get something done, but it's like an automatic PLA-like word, so it's not like saying like, let's quickly get this done. It's not like saying that. It's like, let's go, you know? Uh, Ken Kyujo is research building. Uh, Mochikairu means to return while holding it, so make sure not to forget it, kind of. Wasurenaide desu ne. Mochikairo. I'll continue it to start with the toe. So, ikimaku hakase ni kenkyuin tachi ga unazuku. So, ikimaku means to speak very enthusiastically, which is pretty obvious considering he ends with kairo. Like, he's very, um, it, it's not like a polite way to end the sentence. Like, like, uh, he's I mean, saying, it could be polite. So, he's, he's very enthusiastic. He's like, let's go! Sasuku! Wah! So, he, he's very enthusiastic, this Hakase. And the Kenkyuin Tachi are nodding their head. Inazuku. Honto ni Miyun no Kaseki Tato Sudeba. So, if it's really Miyu, uh, Okay. Kaseki is chance? Uh, kaseki is fossil. Oh, okay. So if this is really Mew's fossil. Yeah, and then it just kind of ends. He, the, the, he just like, he's like, wow. Honto ni Mew no kaseki da to sureba. If this is really Mew's fossil, and he just ends, he doesn't continue the sentence. You know? Uh, then this sureba, it's like, what in you? The, the tsureba is um, an if. To tsureba. That to tsureba. He's basically saying, like, if this is really, like, it kind of insinuates that it might not be the kaseki. So this is, this is a, just another way to say if. Uh, they're, in, they're assuming it's the fossil. So if this is a fossil, something's going to happen. 
which is probably, you know, the Hawkes's dream finally coming true. But it okay. kind of continued in the next sentence. Yeah. Ah, Saikyo no Pokemon got Skureru Hazuda. So it's like, ah, uh, yeah, uh, if this is, then, you know, we can make the strongest Pokemon. Hi. Right. So yeah, the, this, the sentence drops off and someone else continues it. So it's like, if this is really the, the real Mew fossil, yeah, the Mew strongest fossil. Pokemon can be made. Slowly. Uh, Mew no, Mew no kaseki wo torikomu ichido wo uh, iri, iriguchi no homado kara pink iru no Pokemon Mew ga nozoiteita. So, uh, so uh, er everyone present that is surrounding the fossil of Mew, uh, O means uh, this is this is connecting with the uh, nozoiteiru, the peaking over here, the this because quick translation is hard uh the, the the entrance to the um tent there's a little like window kind of and the pink ito pokemon mew so the mew you know who's pink and is a pokemon is looking at those uh professors through that small window yeah uh, uh, Kofun, I don't know what it is. You know, Kyomi? Uh, hi. Hi. It's basically the same thing. So, Kyomi is like interested. So, Kofun is like e excitement, I think. Something like that. It's like keeping that okay. similar meaning. So, Kofun shiteido hakase tachi wo. So, the, the group of the professor and these researchers mm -hmm. uh, who were like excited. Yeah. Uh, hi, hi. Hi. That's right. Oh, like Mitsumi. Uh, apparently, it for days, like, stare at, like, not even blinking, you're just like, oh. Okay. Oh. So it's basically a muse looking through the window. Yep. It's just the describing. professor's like. Hi. <laughs> So, Yagate Mew wa tento no uh, tento kara hanareru to so jungle no saki ni aru takai yama e tobi toko e tobi sate ta. It's like Hi. the Mew that was like Mew kind of left the entrance of the tent yep. and then kind of went back to the mountain that was in the jungle. Hi, that's exactly. Uh, tobi sate ru, I think. Uh, Insinuates that he's kind of running away, but not exactly. He's kind of just like, goodbye. And he kind of just flies really fast. He's like, done. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, so, hanare do, it's like to let go. So, he's like, goodbye, window. Goodbye, everybody. So, I guess he's kind of like holding on the tent, maybe, when he's peeking through the window, which kind of makes sense. I mean, that's kind of how it looks. But yeah, that was funny. It's like an exact hour, but that was us trying to do translation. I think we did pretty good. Not that hard, and I think it's good brain practice. I mean, it definitely helped. Like, since we've already translated this part, mm. there were some things that were in memory. Yeah, that definitely probably helps a bit. So it'll be really hard later on if you don't catch up. <laughs> but yeah. it's it's all good practice. 